We must now strengthen our position in an intensely competitive world by making sensible changes. And so I have decided to merge DFID with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office to create a new department, a new department, the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office. And this will unite our aid with our diplomacy and bring them together in our international effort. DFID has amassed world-class expertise and all of its people can take pride in how they have helped to transform the lives of hundreds of millions of people across the world. To select but a few examples, they have striven to protect millions of children across the world from polio, which is now on the verge of global eradication. They have paved the way for millions of girls to attend school for the first time in countries such as Pakistan, uh, as I've seen uh, for myself. They've done their utmost to ease the suffering in Syria, and in Sierra Leone, they were central to the defeat of an outbreak of the Ebola virus. And all of this amounts to the finest demonstration of British values, following in the great tradition of the country that ended the slave trade and resisted totalitarianism. And it's precisely that ambition, vision, and expertise that will now be at the heart of a new department. DFID and the, the FCO are now joining together to become a new a Whitehall Super Department for International Affairs, which will uh, be of huge benefit to our ability to project Britain's sense of, of mission uh, about overseas aid. And it's for too long, frankly, a UK uh, overseas aid has been che- treated as some giant cash point in the sky uh, that arrives uh, without any reference uh, to UK interests or to the, the values that the UK uh, wishes to express or the, or the priorities, diplomatic, political or commercial, of the government of the UK.